Meet Norman. He's an ordinary man, living an ordinary life in an ordinary town. One day, a small but vocal group of people successfully lobbied Norman's town council to ban the sale of bottled water. They said bottled water is unnecessary. It creates waste and it's bad for the environment. They thought that instead of drinking individual bottles of calorie-free bottled water, that people would drink from water fountains or fill up reusable containers at home or on the go. But that didn't happen. Norman found himself thirsty in places that didn't even have fountains available. He bought reusable containers, but never had one when he needed it. He left it at home, or at the office, or it was dirty, or it was lost. So, Norman bought drinks that were available. Sugary drinks, also packaged in plastic. He drank, and he drank, and he drank. He only had two per day. But in the space of a year, he packed on an astonishing 28 pounds. Norman couldn't figure out why he was gaining weight. So he went to the doctor and found out not only had he gained weight, but he was at risk of getting diabetes. He looked around and saw that many of his neighbors had all grown in size too. Taking his doctor's advice, Norman looked closely at his diet and was staggered to learn that nearly 30% of his daily calories came from drinking sugary drinks. He did some research on bottled water in the environment and discovered that since the year 2000, 73% of the growth in bottled water sales was from people switching from sugary drinks. People make the switch because bottled water is healthy, safe, and convenient without calories, caffeine, or other additives. And he found out that bottled water is just one of thousands of products packaged in plastic. In fact, bottled water packaging makes up only a small sliver of all the plastic produced. And bottled water containers are 100% recyclable. He noted that since bottled water is the most healthful of all packaged drinks, it needed to be available where other packaged drinks are sold. Norman came to the conclusion that his town's ban on the sale of bottled water merely shifted the consumption to other drinks, ones that were packaged in containers made of the same material as bottled water. He wondered if the people who started the bottled water ban knew what they had created. They didn't solve any environmental issues. They added to a public health threat called obesity. To learn more about bottled water, go to bottledwatermatters.com.